Okay, I'll bring you up to speed a bit. <clears throat> um, I before I cut this um, the slot in this here, which will be yeah the twenty degree angle in the middle of here, middle of this side here. I thought I'd better make this wedge first, um, so I, then I can cut the slot to suit. Now, I thought it was half inch plate I had, which is what it says on the plan here, but it's only 12 mil. So, what I've done is I've got it to this dimension, which is 1.137. So, then I hit it with some, I ran over one side with the fly cutter and just give it a quick rub with some wet and dry. And that's the results. Like, I've still got more to do, but I need to get some more wet and dry. Um, I'm just getting bad results. Still got a little bit of pitting in it. It's like only just very, very rightly ran the fly cutter over it. Um, and just a bit of a quick rub with what wet and dry I had. Um, that's the end mill side. And I've started rubbing that back, but yeah, the wet and dry is just about naked. So, and this come so far, this is 11.74. So I'm thinking I'll use a 10 mil end mil. I'll get this, I'll get this um, machined and cleaned up as best I can. Why it's still square, I'll have to put the, the base on me table, on base on the vice on the mill. So I can rotate it to cut this slot, which is 20 degrees to the top side. And then I can mill it to the correct shape. So mill this side off 20 degrees and to length, which it's three inches long. Uh, it'll be three inches long, but I've got to mill this slot in it first. Um, and then I can worry about putting the slot into this so it matches this piece if you sort of follow what I mean put the nice pretty side up half pretty side so I think that's the correct way to do it but um, whether it is or isn't it's the way it's going to be done Okay, I think I am right to do this slot. I've got the swivel base on the vise. Um, I've got it set to 20 degrees. Um, what I've done, I marked it out on the material. And then I put a pointer in the, in the quill and ran backwards or forwards a thousand times and just kept tapping the vice around. I didn't want to rely on the graduations on the on the duvalaki on the swivel but I reckon I've got it pretty much smack on so I'm going to settle for it anyway so my plan is here is is I'm going to um, drill three and a half mil then ram it to four and then I'll put an end mill in then and then I'll just very gently go back and forwards and, do, and form the slot with a 4 mil end mill. Um, probably a waste of time ramming the end of it, like ramming the, the holes out of region, because you know, I'm probably going to hit the end of them anyway, but just in case I don't, then they'll be a nice looking hole. So I've got to slow this mill down a fair bit so I'll, um, I'll do that and bring you back. Okay, I've got two work stop sets. Yeah, blah, blah. two work stops. No, the, the two work stops set on the table. 
from hole to hole. So now it's just a matter of just working back and forth just quite gently and get a hole through there. A slot, should I say. Now I will add this as the first time I've ever done anything like this, so I don't know whether I'm doing it right, wrong or in between, but I know the light's pretty crap here too, so I do apologise about that. Bloody, let the quill lock go, and I forgot I had done because I was at the end of the run. I forgot I had done it, and a finger between the nut and the bloody handle. That hurt. Anyway, on we go. So, I am really, really happy with the way that went. That's the first time I've ever, ever done any slotting or anything like that, like especially with an end mill like this. Um, super happy. So I'll take it out now and we'll have a look, see what the end result was like. So, really would have been nice to have, I've got a mist cooler unit, like a, like a mini cool. But I just haven't got the cool one. I didn't get out to the um, engineering place today to get any coolant. So maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's always another day. Well, there's our slot. I I'm a, I'm happy with it. I'm still got to deburr that backside yet. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Um, this. Bit of four mil rod is going to be the rod that actually locates it or keeps it in track so it's got plenty of room to move super happy that's a that was a new collet i bought because i never had a, a collet to do the um four mil shanks so that was just one I bought out of Melbourne. But um, overall, pretty pretty goddamn happy. Pretty darn happy. So now, what I have to do to finish this piece off is to cut that off there. We'll cut it off there. And then machine it back to 20 thou. A 20 degree angle on it and that'll be that piece there so overall this project's come along pretty pretty good I'm really happy um, I'm really happy with it actually to be honest with you so I'll get some more wet and dry tomorrow hopefully and then I can once I've finished machining this I can wet and dry it and get that polished look on it the um, four man surface grinder. So, and I'll probably end up doing this piece too, I'd say, if I feel up to it. So, there we go.
Good job that one. Tip of our nuff today, knocking off. Beautiful job. Okay, this material here, all this excess has to come off um, and has to be of a 20 degree angle. So I've got a 20 degree angle block in there. Um, bloody fiddly mongrel thing it is. So I'm just using this digital box to get it absolutely spot on. So as you can see, you just got to bump it and it's, it's pretty sensitive. Just got to let it settle and it'll go back to 20 degrees. I've had it sitting on 20 degrees for the last five, 10 minutes. So, so I've been fiddling with it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use an end mill to remove all this excess. I uh, could do it in the shaper, but I don't want to risk um, it moving and screwing this up. So I've opted to go this way this time. It's a fair bit of machine to come off, but that's all right. We can handle it. Well, there you go. Um, this is the new mist cooler I got. It's only a cheap import. Um, just thought I'd give it a go there. I just went out and got some more soluble oil. Um, works fantastic. I, I know it should be mounted to the head, but I've only got a very weak magnet at the moment. Um, instead of having a thousand cable ties holding it on, I just decided just to yeah, do it the way I did. But the tool is definitely staying cold, which is fantastic. So I'll do some measurements now. The finish isn't too bad too by Jingo's. Won't take much to polish that up. So I'll do some measurements now and see how I think I'm just about right down to, to size. Well, I stopped just in time. 
it's right on the money so that's what we ended up is is a, a nice wedge so uh, I can go and lap this piece now and get it all nicely polished up get all the marks out of it which that's not a bad finish on there that won't take much to polish out at all so now what we have to do is measure this precisely and put a groove right down the centre here for this to because it'll move up and down there I have marked uh, the position of where the dowel goes in there and just by eyeball it's pretty much smack on so I think I'm right on the money so everything's going very well okay we've got this marked out now um, marked out pretty well So the uh, actual slot's going to be 11.6 millimetres wide. Um, running millimetres on this slot because that's just the way I've done it, I guess. Um, I've only got metric end mills, which doesn't really matter any anyway because um, I'm just going to run down here the 10 mil end mill and then take the sides out. Well, that's the end there. So that's, that'll be the depth, total depth, bottom line there. So at a 20 degree angle. So I'm going to get this set up in the mill and um, start gnawing some out, eh?